Figures from Uganda Bureau of Statistics have always ranked Busoga among the top poorest regions, with poverty levels at about 42%, only wealthier than Bukedi and Karamoja. Jinja is among the districts in Busoga sub-region that had started feeling the pinch of sugarcane growing as a result of mushrooming sugar factories in the region which are lowering the local population to hire out their land to plant sugarcane. Now, with financial and logistical support from One Acre Fund, East Africa's non-profit organization that supplies smallholder farmers with asset-based financing and agriculture training services to reduce hunger and poverty, locals in Busoga are now coming together to revive the region, well known for being the food basket of Uganda. Catherine Munuancho, a resident of Kagira Central, Boaji Parish, Budondo Sub-County in Jinja District, is among the few commercial farmers in the sub-county. She says her and colleagues joined One Acre Fund as a joke. So we wanted to disprove them and also we took their methods. Indeed, I got 50 kilograms adding to 1,000. That's why I continue to dig with them. Since then, I have amazing plant in my home. Catherine is now a model farmer growing maize, coffee, sweet potatoes, on top of railing animals. They cannot retain people in their homes because they don't have food. For because I have food, so I'm free. So the biggest impact on Acre Fund has had is contributing to more farmers who farm for their countries, farm for themselves and their families. And you see that when you visit their home. A quick example is the national average harvest, I think, is like at 7.5 bags per acre. We have our farmers harvest 12 bags. That is about 1,200 kgs. Last season, we had a farmer with one acre in Iganga who harvested about 32 bags of maize. And all this goes back to quality inputs we give them, the trainings our Air Force go through. As the first season begins, Catherine is among the 120 farmers in Ibuaji Parish that have received maize seeds and fertilizers from One Acre Fund. And it's basically the start of the season for One Acre Fund. We call it the Long Rains 2019 season. Every year we do this. And this activity is going on for a week. Members are required to pay Uganda shillings 420,000 per acre annually to cater for the feeds, fertilizers, equipment, extension workers and many other benefits. For the last four years, Catherine has been engaged in farming with support from One Acre Fund and the results, according to her, have been enormous, save for a few instances where she has been really hit hard by the dry spell in this region. We, we are compensated when there is drought everywhere. You know, all investigations show that this place had drought and as One Acre Fund we did um, give these farmers compensation for the losses made and they had incurred. And the compensations usually are in terms of either in the next season you take um, the inputs you want and only pay half of those. Uh, some we just choose to pay back in cash, maybe send a certain amount back to you because we understand how hard it is to invest and spend time in something like agriculture. Something you all know banks cannot do. Dr. Tom Kasadawai Maga, the district production officer for Jinja, says food is no longer a problem in the district but the only remaining gap is irrigation for the farmers in commercial agriculture. Either water harvesting, it is one thing that is uh, lacking now in the package. As a district, we are trying to see what we can do, but it's something that we are promoting and we are calling upon private sector to come and help us in that area. Locals say the mod has hoped many not only fight poverty, but also food insecurity. Because we are not lacking food. Because some of my bananas were lacking some fertilizers. So they are going to give me the fertilizers on credit so that I pay in installments. According to One Acre Fund, 70% of the world's poor are smallholder farmers who live in remote rural areas, isolated from basic agricultural tools and trainings leading to hunger. In Uganda, the fund operates in the Busoga districts of Jinja, Iganga, Kamuli, and Buyukwe. Over 500,000 rural farmers across Uganda, Burundi, Kenya, Malawi, Rwanda, and Tanzania have been reached. Benat Iga, UBC TV, Jinja.